you know, in videos of the past, I would get on here and say, oh my God, it's Russell Crowe. But I've done that so many times that I, 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 I keep losing track of the standings. Yo, we're the fourth seed. Just like that, we're the fourth seed. We are underneath the, let's check it again. We are underneath the Celtics, the Bucks, and the Cavs. And it's not by that many games. It's really not by that many games. I mean, we, we go on another winning streak. We're the third seed. Do another mini one. We're tied for first. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, this is kind of like, I'm sure this has happened to at least some of you. Have you ever had a classmate in high school or something like that where it's like you hated on them or you didn't think they were going to be anything? In my case, I knew they were going to be something, but I just, I, just, I just figured I'd be there with them. But <laughs> Humble Nets content creator, apparently. That's, that's, that's what the Lord had for me, but that's not even there. But you might have hated on this individual and they had a crazy glow up. I'm talking a boot. They're out here stunting. You feels me? They are one of the most popular whatevers ever, right? I know a couple of people who blew up and they are like the top of the top of, the, of their fields. If I were to name drop, y'all would be like, Sever, you know such and such? I'd be like, yeah, 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 we went to high school. You know, it's all anymore, but we went to high school. And, and it's not like high school was huge or anything like that. I mean, like, it, it was like the homie. It's like the homie. Like, I cut off the wrong people in my life, but that's not here or there. But this is kind of what the Nets are like for me. I have spent so much time lambasting this team and, 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 just, and just throwing their name through the dirt. Right under my nose, the Nets are the fourth seed and could easily be the third at the end of the week because we're going to beat the Hawks. If they can't beat the Knicks, and, and y'all know I got a lot of confidence in the Hawks. I, 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 I feel for them. I want them to succeed. But if they can't beat the Knicks, y'all ain't beating us. It's as simple as that. There, there are literal levels to this, and you, you're not beating us. No, 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 no. The Nets have righted the ship. The Nets have magically made something out of this season. And while I still stand by everything I've st stood by in the past, I'm still a representative of the church of Blow It Up, all that good phenomenal stuff, those agendas are very quiet right now because Jesus, look what they're doing. And the main thing I want to harp on is the chemistry. The offensive brilliance of Kyrie Irving is nothing new. Kevin Durant being a bucket is nothing new, right? It's the chemistry. Y'all, simple things like the turnovers are down. Because they just know where everyone's at. Even down to the idea of when to play people at the proper moment. Man, it's so nice to have Jacques Vaughn. I might have been off on a couple things, but that Jacques Vaughn take, I ooh, ooh, I wear that with pride over this one. I wear that with pride over this one right here. That was a wonderful call, Sever. Good job, Sever. I know. That was a wonderful call. Jacques Vaughn is doing an amazing job, even down to the personnel he has on the floor at times. If Joe Harris misses a shot, which is very rare nowadays, Claxton gets the rebound, taps it out to Seth Curry. They're playing at the same time on the court. Seth Curry ain't gonna miss. I mean, at some point, just for just for uh, Kanes and Giggles, I feel like we need to have a conversation of who's the better shooter, Joe Harris or Seth Curry, because I couldn't answer that right now. I I I really couldn't. With Joey back to almost peak form, and Seth is just on some type of shooting streak right now, and he don't get blocked on layups either. But that's not even there. I mean, those two. Just the ingenious strategy of having them practice being on the court together in mid-game, that's great. Because when Ben Simmons comes back, Joe Harris goes back to the bench. So he's already used to playing with that bench lineup. 
There's no sign of Patty Mills anywhere. You got um, uh, uh, Sumner for that. And look at Sumner carving out a place for himself in the rotation permanently. There were some, rum I was reading the comments. There were some rumbles. You feel me? There were some rumbles. Y'all weren't all the way sold on 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 Mr. Ed, not the talking ho horse, but 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 Sumner. Y'all weren't sold on, buddy. Would anyone like to retract anything? Shout out Sumner. Um, and I'm and I'm and I'm not saying I was on the Sumner train. Absolutely not. I didn't see this coming in the slightest, but I didn't throw him down the stairs like some of y'all did, but. Jesus, look at how useful of an engine he's become. Peep, peep. Shout out, little peep. That's not either there. Royce O'Neal, we've established, is like, if he's a Pokemon, this is like the last evolution. You start out with Bruce Brown, it evolves into a Jeff Green. No, 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 no. You start out with Jeff Green, it evolves into Bruce Brown. Was that the order? That was the order. Was that the order? I feel like that's the order. Yeah, 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 yeah. You start with Jeff Green, it evolves into a Bruce Brown, and then it it, it has its final evolution of Royce O'Neal. Just the utility belt guy that hits the threes when you need it and can move the ball around and be a point forward. How crucial has he been? Markeith Morris. Hey, I'll be the first one to admit, I want a mellow. Pretty bad take, I'd say, on behalf of Mr. Seventh Bond. I want a mellow. But, you know, hey, is he not doing his job? Playing center when need be. I mean, like, no day on sharp in sight. Playing center when need be and hitting the corner threes. That's all you ask of him. He ain't killed nobody yet. I mean, this, this, this is perfect. This is perfect. Whole squad really, really showing up. Claxton, y'all told me years ago about Claxton. Because when I first got here, I was distracted by Jared Allen. And Claxton was always hurt. And y'all would always tell, especially Ramon, you would always tell me, this man is our secret weapon. And I used to be like, but he's always hurt. Secret what? What? Secret prescription? Like, what do you mean secret weapon? Now that we see this beautiful butterfly that this man has turned into, I mean, my God, the blocks, being in the right place at the right time, the on-the-ball defense, the fact that he can do it at any point on the floor. He can play defense on the perimeter, not as good as last year, but he can play defense on the perimeter. He can play defense in the paint. Doesn't he average like one or two blocks a game or some crazy stuff like that? And then the dunks. Claxton ain't doing normal dunks. Claxton is like flying through the sky. And Claxton's finishing package is super underrated. Not just the dunks. You can give him the ball at the free throw line and Mans will somehow Euro his way to a fancy Kyrie layup. Speaking of Kyrie layups, though we are used to it, I don't want to normalize the moves. What he does and his production, we can normalize that. Kyrie is Kyrie. He's back in a certain type of groove. That's Kyrie, right? But the specific moves, Kyrie on a nightly basis will do about two things offensively that will leave you just laying back on your couch like, what did I just witness? I mean, you can't even do some of this stuff on 2K, the stuff he's able to pull off. I'm not going to do the demonstration because I'm going to be honest, I forgot both of them. But... The stuff Kyrie does, he'll give you a boot two every night where you just got to lay back and be like, he is unguardable with these layups. And I feel like there's such an emphasis on his mid-range shot and at times his lack of three-point shooting to where we just forget about them layups. We haven't had a Kyrie Irving layup conversation in the basketball community in a very long time. But we might need to spark that back up. Can anyone make layups better than him? And this is coming from a Derrick Rose stand. Can anybody make layups better than that man? The degree of difficulty 
Oh, I remember one of them. I remember one of them. One of them, he was coming in, right? He's coming in the paint. He fakes a pass to someone in the corner, right? While still maintaining just two legal steps. Didn't even use a gather. Just two legal steps with the ball in the air like this. He brings it back down, then flips it up to the sky, holds the release, and floats it in. He held the release and floats it in. There was no backboard involved. There was no rim involved. Just a perfect float. If it was water, you would have heard a drop. That's how perfect it was. I, I, I just, I just, some of the stuff Kyrie does, you're guaranteed at least two of them a night. You're guaranteed at least two of them a night. Kevin Durant, I was really watching him against Oubre, and some of the, Oubre ain't the, ain't the biggest of dudes, but I mean, he's a pretty tall and lanky guy. This man, KD, just shoots over him like it's nothing. Something in here is about to throw up or blow up. I don't know if y'all hear that hissing, but something in here is about to blow up. If y'all never see this video, it means seven men died, but that's not a hero there. But anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to continue this tape because I'm not redoing this. I got to be at least 15 minutes in. So I'm just going to pray nothing explodes and I'm going to keep saying the stuff I was saying. But Ubre is no, you feel me? He ain't no joke. And he's kind of known for his defense on the low. There's the annoyance and his attractiveness, but he's more so known for his defense. And KD is just effortlessly shooting over this man like it's nothing in the mid range too. And again, can I bring out the example of when was the last time you took a, a contested mid range jumper in real life? Do you know how difficult that is? And he just rises up like it's nothing. And you know, unlike most nights, there wasn't many double teams. It's like they really just decided we're going to stay on one individual and be fine, but you can't chase the ball. There wasn't much iso ball, really. You can't, you feel me? The ball moves faster than your legs do, and the Nets did a good job of moving the ball around and getting everyone fed. Everyone, I'm sure if I were to look at the box score, everyone ate. Everyone did their thing. The chemistry is out of this world. I'm going to die. Something in here is 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 hissing, and I I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna wrap this video up because I feel like I need to diffuse something in this area, but that's not the hint of there. But the point is, a lot of people are gonna point over to, oh, it's Kyrie back on track with the scoring, it's Kevin Durant being an MVP, or oh, it's Joe Harris finally hitting a shot. I think all those things contribute to chemistry. And the best thing is, the best thing, oh, and there's a reason why we don't talk about TJ Warren. There's a reason we don't talk about TJ Warren. I don't feel like he's doing anything that's that impressive. Um, he, he plays cool on the defensive end. He hustles with the minutes he gets. But, I mean, the way y'all was hyping him up off the bubble, I thought he was Jamal Crawford. I ain't seen it yet. But shout out to him. I'm sure he'll come through in the game and we'll call it the TJ Warren game. But there's a reason why I have not discussed him yet. But shout out to him. He's not playing bad. I was just expecting him to come off the bench like like 2013 J.R. Smith. And I, 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 I've just had to see it. But that's not even there. But anyway, it's because of the chemistry. And the best part is when Ben Simmons comes back, Ben Simmons don't really want to score like that. And he is also just another Bruce Brown paint roamer type dude to where, you know, you don't really have to run anything for him. He's just in the right spot at the right time. And he'll be the one initiating the offense and off the fast breaks and all that fun stuff. Allegedly, that's what he does. I haven't seen him do it in about a month, but that is allegedly what he does. So it's not like we have to worry about him coming back and it's going to throw off the chemistry. Ben Simmons don't do nothing. Ben Simmons don't do nothing but try to play D. That is all he does. So that's not really going to affect anything. We'll just be better defensively, even better defensively. Big picture. I still don't think this is going to amount to anything, but we've got a really, really good team. And we've got a factor that teams of the past have not had, and that's chemistry. That's something that this iteration of the Nets had that I envy that y'all got to watch. 
But this, this version of the Nets never had any chemistry. Can chemistry be the final piece to the puzzle? Is that what has been missing from the 7-Eleven puzzle in Brooklyn? Is it chemistry? Because what I'm seeing, it sure seems like it. I mean, the Nets look great. And I wanted to get on here and say, oh my God, it's Russell Crowe, because we barely beat the Hornets without several of their best players. But we did. A dub is a dub. You feel you got to bring it back. When the, when the team success is on this type of level, you got to bring it back. A dub is a dub. We'll take it. Sure. Ugly win. Who cares? Kyrie in the clutch. Woo-woo. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I don't know what this is going to lead to, but I'm interested to see where it goes. I think if it turns out that I am wrong and we have a really deep playoff run or somehow, you know, do the unspeakable, which I'm not even going to say because that's, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not letting them hurt me like that. I'm not going to do it. I'm just hurt. I'm not going to let them do it. But, and beyond, if you will, if they make some noise in the playoffs and beyond, it's going to be because of this chemistry. It's going to be because they know each other. They like each other. They mesh well together. We've got an amazing coach. Did I coach off on amazing? I think I did. So yeah, it's going to be because of that. If it turns out that I'm wrong in the long run about this. And I want to specify what sever being wrong means. If we make it past the first round, I'll admit I'm wrong. To me, to me, with the team we have assembled, fully healthy, we make it past the first round, and I don't care where it is we are in the division. If we're second and face one of the basement teams, I, hey, I'm not taking it back. If we make it out the first round, seven man was wrong. I 100% expect them to make the playoffs, but if we make it out the first round, seven man was wrong. You make it out the first round, You've got something cooking. You just need another year or two. So that's 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 when I'll that's when I'll get on here and like really be like, okay, my doom and gloom was out of pocket. But we have to wait until then. We're still very early in the season. We're making a good run, but anything can happen. Personally, personally, my guess of what's gonna go wrong next is Kyrie says something homophobic. That's my guess. I'm putting that in the ring. That That's my guess for the next thing to go crazy. But that is neither here nor there. You can leave your guesses down below. But that's what I think the next wild thing is going to happen. But that is neither here nor there. You are on Nets Republic. I am your host, Sever the Bond. Hope you enjoyed last night's game. And I hope you enjoyed this recap. I'm going to go defuse that bomb over there. And I will see y'all later. Yeah. Is it a snake? Like, what is going on?